Hello, welcome back to Hush Hush. Um, so, we've met four of the five. We're still missing on Quill. Don't know where she's at. Maybe we'll find out today. So, yep, let me make sure you can actually hear the voice. My voice, okay, yeah. You awake, refreshed, and ready to face the day. Okay, so we need to up either lucky or let's up, let's up, let's up buff. Yeah. What's up our buff level? Two buff levels. Hell yeah, July 3rd, it's the morning. This is where I need to go meet a person, is it? Hey Sugar, it's Bonnabelle Valentine. Uh, your neighborhood friendly cookie maker. I hope you won't think a country girl too forward, but I had your cell number burning a hole in my apron pocket. And I just had to do something about it. Would you be interested in a little get together social? We have some coffee and laughs at the Queen Bean tomorrow night? No, nope, I meant to go back to the messages. Uh... I've never gotten any more enticing proposal, Miss Valentine. I'd love to. Oh shoot, I can't wait tomorrow. No. Yeah, no, I'd love to. Ooh, now I'm excited for sure. Looking forward to it, Sugar. I can't wait, in fact. I'm going to be icing cookies all day with a skip in my step. See you tomorrow. Okay, so we got to do something with Bonneville tomorrow. Well, I found this number on my phone, but I'm not sure who it is. Do I know you? Is this L? Oh, hello. This is L Reed. Sorry if I'm bothering you. I don't have your name on my phone. Unless your name is Unknown Number, which would be an interesting name indeed. We met in the bakery, you're talking to the baker about cooking bacon. Yeah. Oh, that's right, we exchanged phone numbers. I remember you very clearly. I think I recall that you wanted to talk to me about some. How can I help you? Uh, I just wanted to ask you on a date. I was wondering if you wanted to go out sometime, or go in together, I mean, no. Oh, oh my, I wasn't expecting you to say that. Normally texts from strangers are warning me that I'm in trouble with the IRS or something. <laughs> this is ten times... Less expected, at least. I'm just so surprised someone asked me out like this. So is that a yes? Is that a yes? Listen, I'd love to have some company, but my family's very old-fashioned. I can't go out with someone until they met my family. This is just how things are done, so if you'd like to, go out with me. Come to our family, say, tomorrow afternoon, then you can meet my brother. Does that sound fair? Uh, fair enough. Okay, I'll also see you. Take care. Okay. We need to go. Actually, these don't pass time, so let's go here. God, my gamer subs cups in the way. Ooh. Hola, aloha, and hello. Hola. Welcome to the Coffee Bean Coffee House. It's just me today, but it's not so busy, so I have lots of attention to spare for you. Ah, uh, thank you. What can I get for you today? Dad, uh, give me a coffee. Here you are. Have a great day. Suave plus one. Let's go. Okay, it's over to the park. Let's meet up with Eero. You arrive at the park and text Ellie that you're there. Just as you hit send, you hear a message alert coming from the bushes. Someone pokes their head out and signals for you to come over. It takes you a moment to register what's happening, but you recognize a familiar head of a rainbow hair. Hey! Over here! Hurry! You duck into the bushes and find a giddy Ellie golf clapping your arrival. Alright, scrumptious. Here comes my sister. She's on her brunch jog, which you'll be horrible to is not her first of the day. Jesus Christ. Lucky for you, that means you might have a shot of keeping up with her. She's training for the Iron Man, so uh -huh. she doesn't start to slow down until about the half marathon mark. Jesus it's Christ! Your best shot. My dear Eero is made of stern stuff, so lace up those shoes, clench that cute hiney of yours, and get moving. Good luck! Thank you, Ellie. A few moments later, the rainbow-haired Eero comes jogging up your path. She catches your eye and smiles. Oh hey, it's you, my bud from the beach. Fancy running into you here. Yeah, it sounded like I was. Don't come here. Nice day for a jog, eh? I love it when the wind is just strong enough to hit you with that cool ocean spray. When you've got a few miles to put behind you, it kind of feels like cheating. Well, uh, maybe. Are I, you I up can for a jog too, then? Or did you put on your sweatpants to hang out in the park and hit on pretty girls? Frankly, sweatpants are a gift from the fashion gods, and we should do more things than them. Just hitting the pavement a bit. <laughs> Decide whether I'm going to be useful today or not. Well, I thought I was jogging, but then I saw you do it, and I think I've been doing it wrong. Which one would you like? Uh, we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> Damn it, okay. Well, I'm not sure if you should use me for your example. I don't really sweat elegantly. I kind of feel my body overdoes the whole process. Okay. No, but seriously, are you out here to pound some pavement? Because I definitely wouldn't mind a little company on this last leg. I sure. usually don't hit my peaks unless I've got someone cheering me along. Ooh. If it's the same for you. We can be each other's sweaty cheerleaders. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, it's supposed to be a hurdle day. Let's do it. Yes! Let's do this! 
With our powers combined, we can't lose. <laughs> that sounds like a 1990s girl anime. Set the pace. Let's rock. Motivation plus one. Let's go. So, I like to hit the boardwalk here and run all the way down to the lighthouse. It's just a 3K, but it does the trick for me. Okay. I'm actually super happy to have someone along for this stretch. We have to pass in front of at least four ice cream stores. Four! And the struggle is real, let me tell Yikes. you. Yikes. Uh, I could see. So, tell me a bit about yourself. What do you do for a living? Oh, what uh... Are dark and oh. <laughs> Unless you don't think you can jog and chat at the same time. I have a bunch of job inside gigs. I figured if I keep my stats for not all achieve victory in any field. I work on a motivation stat. I can do this all day. I'll just mask already because you're about to see some fire. I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> you're a loon. I guess let's hope you're a quick loon who doesn't skip leg day. Nope. What about me? Any burning questions I can answer Ooh, for you? Okay. You've got a bit of a captive audience here. So, now's your so chance to steal those can you some? So, Ellie. Tell me about Ellie. Uh, can I say something a bit crass? You are fit as hell. You look amazing. <laughs> oh no, better name. <laughs> Close. It's Japanese. My full name is Iro Kawase. Hajime Majide. Uh, Hajime what? <laughs> Are you one of those weebles that rename themselves after their favorite anime character? Hajime what now? <laughs> I know, I know. I don't look Japanese. I'm half Japanese. Osaka, okay. My dad was from Oregon. Osaka, Oregon. And my mom was from Oregon. <laughs> ah, okay. So it makes sense with the last name. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. Uh... I love your hair. Thanks. Not many people seem oh, to shit. notice the nuance I put into it. Got a photo. Well, that's 1K down. How are we doing? Feeling good? Still got fuel in the tank. The burning's good, right? I'm thinking the burn. Um, okay, I think she would like this one better. Heck yeah, the burning is good. Take my word for it. You and the burning will be old friends before you know it. I, this is going to be a bit of a personal story. I have heart problems, specifically when it comes to cardio, I have heart problems. Uh, anytime I try to run like a good amount of distance um, and I don't give myself a break, it will hurt. Like my heart will start to burn and you know, that's not good. <laughs> I can do cardio, just not for long periods of time at a time. I have to like split them up between like 30 minute intervals about like a light jog. That's usually what I do because if I try to go any more than that, my heart will burn. And if I try to go longer than that with a light jog, my heart will burn. My legs, my legs though are pretty, pretty fit, I would say. So I'm, I'm pretty good in that category. So, as you can probably tell, Sabrosa is a bit of a tourist trap. We import a lot of people this time of year who are looking for surf and sand. Okay. It's actually kind of nice because the winter crew is a bit less hectic and busy. But you can't really escape the bozos that come with certain types of crowds. What do you mean by that? Anyway. I'll spare you the local politics. It looks like you've got some of those questions you were mentioning oh, Jesus earlier. Christ. What's on your mind? I've got a ridiculous question. Permission to ask? All right. Although asking me to ask a ridiculous question is pretty ridiculous in itself. Coke or Pepsi, Pale or Keto, boxes or brew. Ooh. I'm not into soda. I'm not on a diet. And there's only one right answer for this one. So, just don't combine the two <laughs> in the last one. You'll be fine. Uh, we'll go with Coke or Pepsi. Yuck! You mean corn syrup or corn syrup? That's, That's what I'm saying! Or straight up rum. I just don't, don't like, really I don't like carbonation. Carbonated swill. I don't like carbonation, so I don't drink Coke or Pepsi. I don't drink soda in general, so. I like these questions. It's like one of those internet tests that tells you if you're a hummingbird or whatever. <laughs> Thanks for taking my survey, that'll be, <laughs> I'll give you that five Amazon gift card. Uh, I've got an inappropriate ask question. That, that's, uh... Tread carefully. I don't do meek. Fuck, if I If you're know. rude, I'll make sure you, you know modeling, it. Are you brushed, uh, do you ever skip leg day, if you'll be honest? <laughs> of course I don't skip leg day. I had a dream <laughs> I did once, and it bothered me for a long time after. That's fair. Still got something on your mind? Um... Ooh. May I ask some sensitive? Thank you for taking my survey. Yeah, let's ask the sensitive one. Oh, well, sure, I guess. What's on your mind? What's it like having to watch family? Do you get along with your parents? Do you do the clean eating thing? Because I'd like to, but I, I, I don't. What's your political... No! Let's go down. <laughs> sort of. I try to balance those healthy macros. But I also watch my carbs. How's they go into my mouth? <laughs> Man, I haven't talked so much about myself since... Well, since ever. 
Damn, that's a bit sad. Thank you for taking my server, there'd be five Amazon gift card. <laughs> yes! I've got my eye on some neon toe socks. And now they'll be mine. Looks like we're just about at the last leg of the journey. And speaking of legs, how are yours doing? Think you can last till the end? I'm game, let's hit that second win and finish strong, baby! Yeah! That's what I like Another to hear! Motivation. Let's keep it up! More sweating, more questions, more witty banter! More witty banter. <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit of that runner's high. Either that, or I'm starting to get pretty dehydrated. Either way, now is definitely the time more to strike More conversation topics. topics. My defenses are down. <laughs> okay. You'd better not be leading up to some sort of sales pitch. What did you really do other than climbing and running and all that jazz? Is there any sort of tragic past I should know about you? Jesus Christ. So, running again marathons lately? What's your favorite thing to do? Riding my motorcycle. Ah. It's actually probably my favorite thing of all. We crashed I that so crush crush. Sometimes I just hit the gas and pretend I'm flying. Sounds amazing. It Damn. is. And more. Second start. Let's go. You got a funny yeah, no, look we every crashed time that crush crush. Topic. You're really concentrating, eh? There's a tragic path, uh, Lighthouse is just ahead. Any good marathons? I lately? ran a 223 in Boston this year. Damn! I'm just gonna Boston cream down. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Oh, come on, that was funny! That was funny! You know, come on! I'm jogging, buddy. You're making this a surprisingly great time. This Lighthouse yeah. is just ahead. Nice! The time really flew! It did. Except for the Boston Groom Donut, which I flew to. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna be super direct with you. I had a great time jogging and chatting, and I really like the cut of your beret or whatever. Thanks. I'd love to hang out again sometime. Maybe do some surfing together, <laughs> or surfing? just grab a fruit Jesus smoothie Christ. and chill. In case you like having conversations where you're not gasping for air. Preferably. What do you say? Wanna hang out again sometime? Uh, sounds great. Awesome. Ring me up. Holy we'll shit, get it done. we are. Take it easy. We are. Going just wrong with Hero. They rank a B. Hero's affection level three. Forget it's twelve. Lovey dovey. No secret sound. One Easter egg pick found. July third in the afternoon. Thanks for having the run. It was nice to have a company for change. Hopefully we can hit the full run sometime. You're a lot more fun to talk to than myself. Did I just make that awkward? I hope not. Anyway, cheers. I don't even get to respond. I can't remember. Meow. Hey, so what's going on? I just wanted to send you a quick message to say I had a great time with you and. Brace for ramming speed. I mean, awkwardness. I just wanted to apologize for coming on a little strong. I get a bit forward when I've had a bit to drink. I just wanted to know that I indeed had a great time, and I hope I didn't actually spoil my chances by getting all, you know, forward. Anyway, I hope we can go on another date soon. I promise to have my love, and the offer remains open. Okay, I gotta go. Someone's puking somewhere in the arcade. <laughs> this is a code red. Take care. Talk soon. Okay. Event all park. Okay, let's go to the mall. Because, once again, and cost the store's empty. There's a sign on the counter that says BRB, just running, just running to the la toilette. That's fancy pants talk for the John. Yeah, I know. Back soon, don't shoplift, God is watching. Heart emoji. Or heart emoticon. Okay then, uh, let's go check on. Sweet lord, am I tired today, sugar. Are you? I was up all night finishing a last minute wedding cake. The order was super rush, and they paid triple. I'm normally more of a sweet tea drinker, but today it's coffee, blacker than the devil's heart. I don't like coffee. Coffee's disgusting. <sighs> Let me know if you'd like to buy anything, sugar. I'm always at your beck and call. Okay, when do I have to go on the LED July 4th afternoon? That's tomorrow and July 4th in the evening. Okay. Let's just go to the park. Wandering around somewhat aimlessly, you happen across a beautiful fountain near the park. Looking into the fountains, shallow waters, you see dozens of coins of various denominations sparkling at the bottom. <laughs> and I must make a decision. Throw in 25 cents, throw in 10 bucks to take all the coins. Where's my money at? Can I see my money? Oh, I have 140 bucks. Yeah, we'll throw in 10. Reaching into your pocket, you remove all the change you can find. It coincidentally tallies up to exactly $10. You throw the, the literal two handfuls of change into the air, causing a symphony of splashes as they fall into the fountain's waters. A small crowd of people nearby applauds. A wise old man nods in approval. For some reason, this seems like a best decision you made all week. You continue on your way. Oh my god, hell yeah! Continue your way to be a better person. Okay, we still haven't met Quill yet. Oh, shit. Alright, Pervy McPeekaboo, I've decided I might believe our little personal fender vendor was on an accident, but I sure am forgiving you over the phone. I wanted to meet face to face. 
Meet me in the mall tomorrow afternoon. No! Tomorrow afternoon, I have L's date. Fuck. Mono e mono. Well, it sounds like I don't really have much of a choice. Damn straight. You better start recognizing when something is great dropping into your lap, you blockhead. Ciao for now. Don't be late. Fuck. Hey, sure just wanted to know that you were mine. I'm looking forward to our little get together. Hope your day is going fabulous. Shopping for cookies and hugs. If it ain't. Fuck. Also, we can go to the cafe. Okay, let's, let's head to the mall. Hey, Schnookums. I'm afraid I can't stay in chat today. We're having a sale, and I actually have customers asking questions. Let me make sure. I swear to God, Streamlabs, if you aren't capturing this audio. Okay, it is. Just had to make sure. No, not career. Damn tourists. Anyway, let's meet up later. We'll share a milkshake or something. Romance! Bye bye See ya, man. Arcade. Okay, let's see what Mio's up to. Oh, hey! How's it going? Did you drop in to play severely outdated hardware with sticky control sticks? Or did you come to visit me? Don't answer that. We both know the right answer. And I'm running with it. Hey, I've got to go fetch a pizza from the kitchen for table four. But maybe we can hang out tonight? Or soon? I'll check my calendar and text you. In the meantime, I'm blowing kisses at you awkwardly. Bye-bye. Either the cafe or the park. We were just at the park, so let's go to the cafe. What are we going to do tomorrow? When you're over at the cafe, you can smell an unmistakable and alluring scent of roasted coffee beans from the street. There are a number of tables set up outside, but it seems like the inside is a popular hangout as well. It may have something to do with the free sample sign written in chalk on the blackboard by the entrance. When you enter the coffee shop, you notice right away it's empty and the two baristas appear to be bickering behind the counter. I am just saying, my dear sister, that maybe you would have less troubles if you weren't so prickly. Yes? Do you see many cactuses on dates? Do you know why? Because they are prickly. Prickles say, do not date me. I will poke you in the face. Ugh, I cannot stand you when you are full of nonsense. Can't you goof off somewhere else when I can't listen to your advice? Do not fret, mi hermana. Those are just the prickles talking. I am just trying to help the cactus get some water in this dry, dry desert, desert heat. heat. <laughs> Fucking open, there we go. Cacti can go months without water, mi hermano. They do not need you scooting around, commenting on their prickles! Judging by yours, I would say it's been longer than a few months. Oh, Dimitri! I'm going to start the shouting if you do not! Oh, Dimitri! Someone is here! Hola! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House! Hello! Please, excuse our little argument. We did not hear you come in. We were just practicing a skit for our Christmas community play. With cactuses! Dimitri! Do not lie to the customers! Especially badly! I am so sorry. He is an idiot by choice, so please do not pay attention to him. What can I get for you? I would be happy to make you anything on the house as an apology. That is a really bad... That is such a bad... Like, that is a good insult. The fact that they're not an idiot by, like... they Oh, they have to be an idiot, so it's fine. No, they, they do this by choice. Uh, this reminds me of something sweet but strong, yeah. Oh, I know just what you will love. It is a latte that will fulfill your hopes and dreams. That's a lot of that's a lot of wishful thinking. So, you seem like a seasoned traveler. With oh, wisdom, yes. wisdom. To share with the world. I have I have my my brain so big. All of the wisdom. My dear sister here. She is what you might call <laughs> unlucky in love. Man, he is a he's a bad wing man. I am not going to lie. Dimitri! But I think she is lovely and kind and wonderful. Of course so you say I'm this. trying to solve this puzzle. You're her brother, of course you'd say that. Do not talk to customers about my love life! I just think you could use an outside opinion, mi hermana. 
and I am getting a good vibe Thank from you. our friendly customer here. Thank you so much, Dimitri. May I pick your brain? Do you mind? For some reason, I thought he was going to go grab a saw and just chop open my head. Uh, yeah, sure. Bless you, my friend. Lotus? Oh, for goodness sakes. Whatever. Just please do not embarrass me on purpose. I hate it when you do that. Dimitri, I'll make it look like an accident, man. Here's I'll make it look like it was a complete accident. I hope you love it. Thank you. My dear sister has been on only a handful of games the last from six Gamer months, Sups. and none of them have gone past the first installment. Wow. She claims it is because there is no chemistry, but as you can plainly see, she is made of fire Okay, and this is getting a bit weird, man. For there to be no chemistry would be scientifically impossible. Your brother and sister, this is getting a bit weird. Dimitri! Dating is not some silly app to get a high score. There are just no men or women that are my type. Okay, well, what is your maybe, type? And maybe I will be magically transformed into a pig, go on a crazy adventure of and love steal and some discovery, bird's eggs. and be rescued by true love's kiss. Anything is possible, but we should limit our discussion to the probable. What do you think, friend? Is Lotus the Sorry. victim of the dreaded Typeria? Typeria? Dimitri, you <laughs> are so gross and weird. The defense, are you turning down second dates or not getting invited? Normally, I would say your standards might be too high, but I really don't think that's the case. Is it concerned are you dating because you want to, or you think, or because you think you should be? Ooh, all these are pretty valid things to say, I would think. Like. This one, are you turning down second dates or not getting invited? And this one? This one actually might be the best one. Because it, it's taking in her feelings specifically. Hmm. I'll go with this one. Uh, well, um, that is a very interesting question. I don't really know the answer. Okay, fair. You see, my friend, our mama, she wants the grandbabies, yes? So many of them. So many! Dimitri! Well, it is just an observation. Well, I don't care I'm... if you choose to date or not, Mirmana. I care that you seem to be having troubles and are in distress about it. As an outsider, I'm gonna say, uh, she isn't the only one that can have kids here, man. Well... Just saying, do you have a girlfriend? I still think you are weird and a bad influence. I agree with the weird part. But, um, <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Like, man... You can be passionate on her if you don't have one. I am still right where I want to be. Okay, great. But go on, my friend. We interrupted you. If you're looking for love, that's probably just something you're putting out there and don't realize. I think it's just a dry spell. Types and leagues are just lazy ways of thinking. Real talk. Are you a bitch? Honestly, I agree with this one a lot. Types and leagues, especially the leagues part, are just lazy ways of thinking. If you're truly looking for love, then it's probably just something you're putting out there that you don't realize. I think this one's good. Of course you are right. I have dated so many and I have never come across these types and leagues of which you speak. Are you a slut? Is that what you're just flat out telling me right now? You're a slut? That is only because nature decided to give you so many gifts. But to rob you of a decent brain. True! You wound me, dear sister. Your words are daggers in my beautiful okay, heart. Okay, you're, you're upping yourself at this point. I think we need to run an experiment. We need to see the problem in action. I'm sorry if you hear that so much. The gamer subs cups are, can be loud when they're opening. Dimitri, if you are asking this kind of person to take me on a date, I will slap the tan right off. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, no, no! In science, you must remove biases to discover the tantalizing truths underneath. You can't ever remove biases. No matter what bias is going to be there, it just how little of it you give and how much of it you give is what's happening. But because you're your own person, you're you're gonna have bias no matter what. The truth underneath that could just be way too personal. The next customer that comes in, you must flirt with them. What if it? What if it's you know the one that she doesn't want to flirt with? Hi, Dimitri. I am not going to be your conejo de Indias. 
And I am certainly not going to bother a customer for the sake of your amusement. I don't know what that says. I'll probably put it into Google Translate and post, and I'll show you what it says, but... It is not to bother anyone, Lotus. Trust me. Almost all customers are delighted when the pretty barista flirts with them. I'm going to reassure her and not be the weird guy. I hate everything that is happening here. But somehow, I will allow it. Okay. Hooray! <laughs> you could have said that way- You could have said that way more enthusiastically. Hooray! You could have went, Hooray! No, you went, Hooray! Like, what the hell is that, man? Here is what we shall do. The next customer that comes what if in, Quill comes in? We will try to flirt. And then, whenever you get stuck, our friend here will signal for what you should do. What? Sound good? No, but I'm not fighting it. That's the spirit. Just waiting for like Quill or Cassie oh, or something. Oh, there is someone coming. Everyone, to your places. A young man walks in and takes a very long time to read the menu. He looks at you shyly several times to ensure he isn't budging in line. Then he walks up to the counter. Um, hello. Nim, you look familiar. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. Hmm. I am Lotus, and I am very excited to make you drink. I mean, to make you drink. To make you drink. Oh. Uh, great. Um, I'm excited to order it, I suppose. He supposes. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like this would be very forward. Then we are both excited. Yay! Yeah, Excitement. I guess we are. This kid is so nervous. It is nice to have things in common. Yeah, definitely. So do I... Do I tell you my order? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. I was distracted by your hair. No, why'd you say hair? You could have said eyes. Eyes would have been so much better. <sighs> my hair? Oh no! What's wrong with my hair? Is there oh no, you should have said it? eyes! You should have said eyes! <laughs> uh, so your hair looks great. Uh, it looked damn funny. No, it's just very nice hair on my eye. It, uh, it looks. It looks. Oh, you can just imagine I'm like mouthing it behind the guy going, It looks handsome. Just like that. Just like signaling behind him. Oh my god. It is very handsome on you. Oh. Uh, I shaved wow. it. Thanks. I like your hair too. Uh, I mean, I, am the I don't want to trade hair or anything. I think it just looks really beautiful on your head. So, what can I get for you? Yes. I can't have anything with caffeine, just to be super clear. So, I just like some hot water for mint tea. Ah, good Sounds choice. Good. I Although love I don't... mint tea too. It is so refreshing and it does wonders for your breath. I don't like the taste of mint. I know. Hot take. I don't like mint, but I, 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 I can see why that'd be refreshing. I, uh, sorry. Is there something no. wrong with my breath? <laughs> you suck at flirting, Lotus. <laughs> That's way too forward. Getting a little tongue tying? Oh, you mean tongue tied? No worries. I know how that is for sure. Why'd you say it like that, man? That's so weird. <laughs> Whatever. And to be fair, I think I was starting to get tongue tied the moment I came in. I get nervous when I have to order from people who are so. Uh, well, talented. It's working. That. It's working. It's working. So, what can I get for you? Um, sure. I already ordered. <laughs> oh! Right, of course. Can I have your name? Yeah, it's Nim. There's an H on the end, but don't worry if you spell it wrong. It's a weird name. I think it is a beautiful name. Okay, it's just getting better. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I didn't pick it, but I don't meet many people who share it. That's her. What's your name? It is Lotus. Though, like maybe, the if you go by what they call me around here, it's... Hey, lady, give me my coffee! There you go. Adding, adding jokes into the flirting is, a, is, is a good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know how that is. My nickname must be Honking Noises, because I always drive the speed limit, and that seems to annoy people. <laughs> I know what you mean! It is like everyone is wanting to race, but they only get to the stoplights faster. True. It's probably a metaphor Don't for speed. life. Don't speed. But darned if I'll be figuring it out. Uh, Lotus stops and stares, smiling. 
drink. Get him. Get him the drink. Oh, get him the drink. Sorry. Get him the drink. I've gotten distracted again. I shall get you your drink. Thank you. I got distracted too. Here you are. That will be two ninety-five. Thank you. Here's five dollars. Keep the change. Thank you very much. Um. Do something. Do anything. <laughs> okay. I think. If she asks him, it's going to be a bit more, uh, he's going to feel a bit more awkward. So I think if he just gives, if she just gives her number to him, then it'll be better. Okay, we'll do that one. Since you don't want your change, maybe I can give you something else? Oh, that isn't necessary. I'm good. No, I mean, like, my phone number? Oh, what if I took your number? What number <laughs> would you use? That would be a major inconvenience, wouldn't it? <laughs> could just use it I don't know why that it. got me so bad. Okay. Oh! <laughs> sorry! I see what you mean now! This guy, man, he's okay, just, this God. guy's good. I was so scared! Oh, God, this guy's funny. Um, yes, you can give me your number. That is a thing you can do. I like to imagine he's, like, pumping his fists while he's doing this. Okay, great. Here, I'll put it into your phone. Thank you! That's very helpful! You're welcome. I suppose we should probably stop shouting. Yes, probably. All right. Well, I should go. <laughs> Thanks again for everything. Maybe we'll chat later? Ishmael, we haven't even figured out this guy's dating anyone else. Yes. That is a perfect thing to do with my phone <laughs> number. <laughs> yep. Okay, cool. Have a great day. See you. Oh, shit. He wasn't finished. Oh, my. I can't believe that went so well. Well, there were moments where it seemed like you were determined to make <laughs> Awkward. Hey, <laughs> I, I know. I don't know what is uh, wrong with me. I just keep putting my foot in my mouth. Lucky for you, some people are. No, no, no. I knew. I as soon as I as soon as I pictured. If you didn't see a recent video, I don't know if this will come up before or after this video. But I mentioned the fact that anytime someone describes the setting to me, I instantly imagine in my head it's just something that happens to me. And I immediately thought someone's gonna be into that shit. And uh, Dimitri, Pili is weird for a moment. Yes, yes. But also, luckily for you, our good friend here Let's was quick with the excellent suggestions. This was so strange and awkward and just bizarre, but it was also kind of fun. It's oh, easy, yeah. Funny. Yes, like a dashing Cyrano de Bergerac. Your advice could not have been keener. Thank you. Maybe you can come back, and we try this again. Uh, sure, but Nim would have to come back. No, no, no. Once was plenty. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> you need to come down from the clouds before you can make more decisions. Drop in again, friend. We will trade you Americanos for advice. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Aha. Sounds good. Perfecto. Uh, it's just, you're going to have to... I don't condone cheating. So you're gonna have to cheating's one of the worst things you could ever do in my opinion. So um we're gonna have to make sure Nim comes back. Alright. I need oh, shit, to I got do achievement. some action. You should definitely help Lotus Lord with Nim. Here. Thanks for everything. I hope we see you again soon. Hi Lotus. Yes. Bye Dimitri. Cheers, my friend. Oh Come let's see go. Us again. The game is afoot. It is on afoot, yes. The night time now. We can only go home. Oh shit, my stats are ranking up. Okay, let's go for lucky. Okay, by the time we get in the morning, you set an alarm and pass out. July 4th, gone. Fuck. We'll go buff again. I'm kind of fucked here. Ell. Hello, it's just me. I wanted to make sure I'm excited that you're coming by. It's been a while since I've company. I might make tea. Anyway, I don't want to bother you. I just want to land. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Take care. Fuck, why couldn't we reschedule? Morning sugar, the sun's up and muffins are ripped. We drop by for some sweet. Looking forward to our day. Have a good day. Can I reschedule? Let me reschedule. With someone. Fuck. Why are they both in the afternoon? So I'm gonna have to blow one of them off. I think Cassie was the one. We were just gonna go. She was, she was just gonna be in the mall, right? Not Mio. The mall tomorrow afternoon. I'm 100% going to be going to Elle's house then, because she has other people there. 
Dimitri's on the phone. I promise you, my darling, that I would never say those things. It's simply not how I do things. I will call you back, but do not join that nunnery until I have a chance to speak nunnery. with you in person. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the best coffee place in all of Sabrosa. It is pretty cool. My sister is away at the moment, but I would be very pleased to make your order. What can I get for you today? Just a large coffee is great, please. Coming right up. A coffee guaranteed to change your life. Here you are, my friend. Thank you. Be well. Plus one lucky. Good. Drink well. Thank you. Let's just head to the beach. Let's just get this over. Driving by the beach, you spot a group of people searching the sand with metal detectors. Stopping your car and hopping out, you see a foldable sign that says Sabrosa Detector Society. What do they, what do you do? Take a stroll, you're feeling lucky. Hell yeah. After strolling amongst the various detectorists for a while, you see you're ready to leave when you stub your toe. After a moment to hold back a few choice curse words, you reach into the sand to find out what you hit. Only to pull a small silver bar. Oh my god! There are more than a few shocked salty looks from detectors as you leave the beach. A few ounces of silver richer. A few ounces of Thanks for keeping me company on I run. It was positively delightful. Hope to see you out there again sometime. We should hang out. I'll bug you later. Take it easy. I, we're gonna have to go to L. I'm so sorry, Cassie. But you're at the mall, and we can do the mall anytime. L is at our house. And I don't want to disappoint the people at our house. Sorry, Case Casey. It takes a while to drive to the address L gave you. It's far from town, on a road sprawling with fancy houses on enormous properties. You finally reach the right house, which is the fanciest by far. As you drive up to the main gate of the estate, you hear a voice over the intercom. Yes? Can I help you? What business brings you to the Reed Estate? Ah, well put. Yeah. Right, then, please come up to the house. I shall meet you at the front entrance. Okay. As you reach the front door, a rather intense young man approaches. Good day. Welcome to Reed Manor. My name is Dorian Reed. Dorian. I'm more or less the head of the household, which, as you can see, includes manning the front gate. Are you El? More to the point, yes, it you is are. also you my that. distinct privilege to have the title of L's older brother, which means I get to first meet anyone who calls upon her. And so here, destiny finds us. How do you do? Nice to meet you. I see pink hair runs the family. Perhaps have some style, some stylers. <laughs> yes, well spotted. Though perhaps the answer is only somewhat less mundane. We should discuss it sometime over a drink. Uh, I don't drink, but sure. Well, as much as I enjoy no, I standing in my driveway and bantering with a stranger, there are other matters I must attend to today. None so as important as this, but only marginally so. Glad to know I'm at the top of your priorities. So, let us not beat around the bush. I have a sworn duty to uphold. And being cute about it only draws out the process, then risks, misunderstandings. Yeah, beating around the bush is pretty bad. What are your intentions with my sister? Uh, I haven't really known Alfred long. To have established intentions, pretty much just ice cream and conversation at this point. Yeah. Hmm. Ice cream and conversation are both in the acceptable category. See the protective older brother. Wait here just a moment. I'll go fetch Al. Thank you, my good sir. Elle, dear, your guest has arrived. Oh, hello. That's it's a cool nice little picture. To see you again. Hello, Elle. Dorian. I hope you weren't um. Overbearing with our guest? You act a lot different in this game than you do Crush Crush L. In Crush Crush, you're a lot more. You know what I mean? As I'm sure your friend will attest, I was nothing if not polite and welcoming. Yes. I only made a handful of threats. Quite harmless, I assure you. He put a gun up to my head. Oh my! I hope not. Nah, he was crucial. <laughs> Have fun, Elle. Might I suggest taking our new friend for a walk around the grounds? The landscapers just finished trimming the hedges on the south lawn into shapes of animals. It's very fetching. The two of you have fun. Let me know if you need anything. You especially, Al. Hey! I don't know if you feel a bad spell coming on. Of course, Dorian. See you later. Hmm. No! You see, uh, no, how do I get No, my suave! This is gonna pull up my contacts list. Career, would it be an achievement? How do I look, how do I look my stats? 
Ah, oh, come here. What's my suave at? Nine. No. Required level. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Five thousand. He's gonna oh, Yes, of course he is. Actually, the is actually very sweet. She's in the he's good mood. Look out for someone new to charm. He's quite the social butterfly. Wait, we can charm up Ellie. Damn. Okay, hold on. Who was the person we got? The oh, I was Iroh. What image did we? Oh, it's a secret image. So we got to go all the way back. We're gonna have to blur that. Oh, here's another one that we're gonna have to blur. Great. A lot of blurring gonna be going on with this episode. I'm more of the caterpillar of the family. Ah. <laughs> Dorian is just super protective of me, and he has this way of making my guests scarce. <laughs> Oh my, yes! We Dorian always we gotta make always fun. pulling my hair and flicking my forehead when we were young. Jesus. I mean, he hasn't done that lately, but I'm fairly certain it's because my defenses have improved. <laughs> or at least, I think you were kidding. I'm always kidding, I rarely say anything serious. I have what you call a serious condition. Try to show I'm sure we can think of it later. Oh, that sounds. Terrible. I forgot that. Oh dear, the joke still went over my head, despite your best efforts to lure oh. the net for me. Good grief. Hm. I'm just waiting to get a text from Cassie saying, where the fuck are you, bitch? Dorian was right about one thing, though. The gardens look very nice right after hedging. Would you care to walk with me? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, if the world rings you, feel free to take the call. I would hate to come between the two of you. You take her by the hand and follow her through the large mansion door, stepping out of the gardens. Every time I visit the estate, I walk down this way. I like sitting by the creek that runs through the west end of the property, just past the stables. Jesus, how rich is your family? I suppose that might sound a bit... parvenu. Sorry. I don't want to come across as a snob. You have a beautiful home and there's no need to be embarrassed. Forgive me. I'm just a little nervous, I guess. It's been a long time. Since I've had a social visit come over. Hmm, I see. Okay, here. Just through this little hedge. I'll oh, show sure. you my secret place. Yeah, secret place? And here we are. Oh, my little awful. quiet place. My home away from home, away from home. <laughs> I guess we're Dorian right hardly ever comes down here. He dislikes the butterflies. How? So, butterflies whenever are cool. I need some alone time, I take a book and a picnic down here. And enjoy the peace and quiet. That's, that's cool. What do you think? Kind of pretty in that magic garden sort of way. Peanut butterflies? What the fuck? He's definitely pretty from where I'm standing. Oh man, I love butterflies, especially peanut butterflies. Sure. <laughs> I certainly like to think they're just as sweet. Probably. So, I've been thinking a lot about Not our short actually. exchange Bugs in are the bakery. Horrifying. I was wondering if you could clear up some things for me. Uh, sure. I always get a bit flustered when strangers strike up conversations, so very likely I was a bit Same. behind the conversation. I was just wondering, what made you start chatting with me? I thought for a few moments that maybe you were selling protein shakes or soap or something. So, I was just worried that maybe I missed something important, because I couldn't quite make sense of it. Uh, that one. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Fuck. I sort of figured the reason was something like that. Oh, but look at me talking your poor ear off. I've barely given you a chance to breathe, let alone partake in the conversation. Well, what brings you to town? Do you have any burning questions to ask? I'm visiting the town for a month. I heard this place is beautiful, particularly the beaches. I've always asked someone with a mansion. Is there a secret cape underneath it? Like, uh, in case you want to become a superhero? <laughs> I do have a burning question. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I must know! Hmm. It changes daily, butter pecan. I think. Today, it is butter pecan. But I feel like tomorrow will be a maple, maple walnut, walnut kind thing. of day. Anything else on your mind? <laughs> no, silly. Gah! Rats! Least, I've never come across one in my searches. Maybe well, it's just super hidden. I'm afraid there's no superhero cave. Or ghosts. Or secret tunnels. 
Nothing actually interesting gets to happen here. Damn, that's a bit sad. I can tell you're thinking hard. Your nose does this cute scrunchy thing. <laughs> uh, your brother says something about a bad spell. Can I ask what he meant? Oh, certainly. I sort of wish he hadn't said anything, because it's really nothing important. I'm sure it isn't, but I'm just curious. Fusses about me so much, because I have a condition. Uh-huh. Don't worry, it isn't anything contagious or life-threatening. Narcolepsy, I yeah. have what's called narcolepsy. Have you ever heard of it? Isn't that where you, like, great and control zombies? <laughs> no, no. Oh, that was a so mega goof. one. That's necromancy. Ah. Uh. But boy, would things be different if that were actually the case. <laughs> <laughs> narcolepsy is a brain condition that affects my level of sleepiness and wakefulness. Sometimes, I get spontaneously tired and fall asleep. Even in the middle of doing something active. Damn, that must be rough. It's not quite as dramatic as it's sometimes shown on TV. But I have fallen asleep in some pretty hazardous situations. Like what, if you don't mind me asking? One time I was riding my horse. Oh shit. And luckily, I was strapped in tight. But it's severe enough that I don't drive or skydive, I suppose. Damn. I don't mind telling you though. Because I usually let new acquaintances know right away, just so they don't think I'm being rude if I fall asleep during our conversation. I hope all of that doesn't make you uncomfortable. Why would I've had a few friendships hit a bump because of it. <laughs> no way, well, things have a bad spell about it. Naps seem like a decent option. You gotta handle it. Is your brother over doing the whole Protect Valley thing? <laughs> well, if that's how you feel about it. I can confirm that I am a very accomplished Very accomplished. Snapper. I know. It's so easy. I've fallen asleep on a roller coaster. Jesus Christ. It would be hard to match my skill. <laughs> that is that is top level napping. Well, we should probably pack up. I have a violin lesson in 25 Jesus minutes. And Maestro Alessandrini is quite unforgiving if I uh, Yeah, it. go. But I had That's a very unfair. nice time walking in circles around my brother's house. <laughs> I do believe that you passed the first Dorian test, though. So, he might actually let me meet up with you somewhere else. Like the cinema, or my own house. Would you like to have an outing with me? I think it was a uh, so I was uh, hoping for your gifts. I'm just wondering if hedge animals are very much like to see you again. Uh, go oh, wonderful! Two, two, and oh. you're right. That would have been my answer. You were thief. <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit me oh, today. Oh no. Meeting my brother is an odd formality. I dare say I wouldn't miss it if it went away. But I deeply appreciate the effort. No. I can assure you that's debatable. I'll be in touch. Until next time. Take care. Take care. Oh no. No. Okay, we'll go to Ellie first. I used to keep on just got a new shipment of ties and I was hoping, pretending to tie myself up with them. Uh, then I had a thought, you and I should go on a date, you know, just in case things don't work out for the best with Iro. Iro. I mean, she actually shows signs of interest. You could actually have a bit of fun. So, date, possibly? You can't see it, but I'm giving you the magical sparkly puppy dog eyes. How could you refuse? Sounds like fun. That's a big guess from me. Sure. Yes, I can't wait. Tomorrow we can meet at the park in the afternoon. It'll be fun, educational, and wow. See you then, kiss kiss. And then here we go. Explain yourself. How dare you stand me up? Uh, who just threw the other thing you are? You have a better friggin' mother. You have the friggin' mother of all excuses to pull this kind of crap. I'm also, so you, you forgot or slept in. I'm going to show you the words of when you grab, twist, and pull. Jesus Christ. If it was a mistake, I'll never have it again, and I will make it up for you in a shocking and incredible way. Wait, quick question, quick question first. What are you wearing? Oh, I know it was a mistake. Trust me. And I bet <laughs> your ass you're making it up to me. Give me how you're gonna jerk me around. F around and find out. So you're gonna step smooth on the attack because you're the way right now. Give me a second. I'll make this right. Nah, I'm out. Too much drama. Very well. Meet me tomorrow afternoon. Fuck. Don't tell me that's when he. Okay, we're going with Cassie. We're going with Cassie. Cassie's one that could actually, you know, get killed by the uh, things that are going to happen. So, we're going with that. We spot Bonnebel. She leaps to her feet, gives you a hug. Well, hello there, sugar. Why don't you look like a little old chocolate chip cookie looking for a tall glass of milk? 
Bless your heart, darling, for ringing me up. I think my evening plans were mostly vacuuming, so you have officially spared me from a life of boredom and solitude. <laughs> this coffee place is the bee's knees, sugar. The oh, girl wait, in here is an artist. You've heard of magic beans? Yeah. Well, she's the one who makes them that way. I know, Lotus. Just keep an eye on her brother. You'll spot him a mile away. Oh, Trying I know. A little troublemaker, him. Shall we roll out I the know. red carpet and get on with it? Got any objections to coffee and conversation? Coffee and conversations are the real vitamin C's. Let me add them. Given present company, I figured I have a grand time just waiting in line at the bank. I can't live without coffee. I right, will go with this one. Oh. Charmer, I love well, it. Aren't you just the kindest little haberdasher this side of the Rockies? Yeah. You better watch out. Keep up that charm. With the Rockies, run an island. Make this bonbon melt. Let's go in and rustle up a latte. Rustle up a latte. Oh, aloha. Hello, Lotus. And hello. Welcome to the Green Bean Coffee House. Yep. Oh, Miss Valentine. I love what you have done with your hair. It is like a glorious sunset lighting the ocean waves. Oh, sugar. You're a regular bouquet in a bow. I wish I could make cupcakes half as sweet as you. <laughs> Gracias, Miss Valentine. So, what can I do for you today? The usual? Latte, milk, and sugar? if you get a pure sugar? black coffee, there's something wrong with you. And salt the rim, if you would, darling. I'm feeling a dash adventurous today. Salt? And for you, friendo? Uh, okay, my mind's going with Pringles. One... Don't say Thai. Thai chi. Chi tea. No, it's not chai tea. It's just chai. Whatever, Ooh, give me the sparkle. Maybe that's what I want instead. Make mine just yes. like that, too. Don't say chai tea, because that's of just saying tea tea. As the spider verse has taught us. Coming up. Isn't she such a darling? This place used to be run by a trio of hipsters who liked mixing and matching ingredients Ugh. and giving them funny names. Sounds I've weird. got nothing against hipsters or creativity. But one day they offered me something oh, about junk spunk, and I noped out of there on the double. Yeah, I would too. Anyway, little Lotus there has been running things for a year now, and everything is hunkadori. Looks hunkadori. Coffee is like now. kissing. You need it often and by someone who knows how. Don't you agree, sugar? I like my coffee, like I like my women a whole lot, for sure. I also, because I like the world. Nope. Good researchers are the world's most precious Amen resource. Amen to that. I'm waiting for the first coffee culinary college to open up, then I'm going to start sponsoring some scholarships. <laughs> you just wait and see. True. So tell me more about yourself, sweet cheeks. Why do I say true? I reckon you're new to town, since we've never run into each other before. You'd be right. I, uh, Either I'm that, or you secretly hate baked goodies. <gasps> and this relationship is already doomed to failure. I'm going some extra work just as I got here. Fear not, my love for pastries is already outdone by my adoration for charming accents and pretty eyes. Just visiting. I've got something important to do while I'm here. We'll go with that one. <laughs> yes! Because so far, every single gracious, option has darling. been one that gave you us really hearts. like to lay those sweet nothings on thick, huh? Because it's By cool. the way, I feel I should stress <laughs> that I didn't ask you to stop. Oh. Why, hello there, Miss Bonbon. As always, it is my great privilege to serve you. How is my favorite customer today? <gasps> Out in the sunshine, where all you. beautiful girls belong. I thought I was your favorite. Ah, oh, Dimitri. How's my little caramel apple doing? I'm doing right as rain during drought season, adventure. I am so happy to hear it. Dimitri like is me. good. He is, how do you say, full of life and fire and chocolate-covered coffee beans. <laughs> Dimitri, what are you doing? Yeah, you seem to be, uh... Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> Lotus, my beautiful sister. I am bringing our dear customers their drinks. Can't you see how thirsty they are? What are the odds she says you don't even have any drinks in your hand? I told you not to bother Miss Valentine on her date! I put the no Dimitri sign on that drink tray for a reason! Until you learn not to flirt so shamelessly with everyone, you stay in the back and make espresso. <laughs> oh, that's all right, darling. Dimitri was being a perfect gentleman. He's stealing my girl. Do you see? Even a beastly man Jesus like Christ me man. can clean up and reform his scandalous ways. You are too kind, Miss Valentine. And patient. And sweet. Even to the biggest fools. That's what I'm saying. Well, then, this the man is a menace. Space. Go, go, go! Here you are, my dear friends. Thank you. If you need anything else, please do not hesitate to summon me. Summon. Thank you, darlings. 
Aren't those two just cute as cucumbers? They're so funny. Dimitri just can't help himself from getting under Lotus's skin. I kind of love him when I kept willing them to give me my drink before they continue to show. This Dimitri's a bit of a smooth fucker. I kept willing them to give me my drink before they continued the show. Uh, I kept willing. What does that mean? Why am I like blanking on what that means? Willing them to give me my drink before they continue. I'll go that one. Oh, me too, sugar. Even when they bicker, they have such pretty voices. I could listen to them for hours. I don't know if I could. It's hard for me to listen to anyone's voice for an hours on end. So I've been mostly talking your ear off, sweet cheeks. You barely gotten a word in edgewise while I've been clucking up a storm. I made a New Year's resolution to try and talk a little less when I'm in good company. And seeing as it's summertime and I haven't started yet, <laughs> it's not a You're like everyone. You, you, everyone so does that. No worries. feel free to ask me whatever's on your mind. I'm an open book with a fancy bookmark ribbon. So if you're a full-time baker, that's a sweet job. Hey, <laughs> I've only been here a short amount of time, but this town's giving me mixed vibes. Like, it's fun, but also kind of, you know, my cookies always came out a bit foamy, bubbly. It's hard to describe. Any ideas? Bless my butter tots, sugar. That's the kind of question a gal like me dreams about here Where are we on our first date. <laughs> Where are we at? Ooh, almost at the second star. Okay. I know exactly what the problem is. Bubbles mean you've got too much egg in the mix, darling. Okay. Either you're putting one too many in for good measure, or your eggs are too big. Uh, my eggs are no Scaling too big. back, or take a yolk out. That'll fix it right up. Okay. <laughs> now you got me thinking about cookies, sugar. You certainly guessed the weight of this gal's heart. I mean, you wear an apron mm, everywhere you I go. I just got to the part of the drink where all the sugar sinks to. That's a little slice of heaven. Forget the cheers, use the good coffee and great company. Oh, darling, bless your heart. I hear that joke every waking day Damn of my it. life. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I love it so much, sugar. I get to bake up a storm every day, which fills me with the honey glow, something fierce. That's a good way to describe any job that you want to do. It, it Everyone who fills comes you into my passion. shop is so kind and friendly. It's hard being a grouch when you're surrounded by a million calories of colorful icing. Got a good point. And every so often, a stranger wanders in who catches my eye. I might toss a bit of flour on the girls to get their Jesus attention. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just fooling. I can't waste an ounce of flour. It is not in my nature. If there's a light dusting on the girls, it is purely accidental, I swear. Oh my, look at me gabbing on. See what happens, sugar? You give me an inch Man, and I'll sure take like country sugar. acres. Yeah, forget to cheer. She's a good coffee and oh, great company. cheers, darling. All right, sugar. I've got a few questions for you. Hit Nothing me too with prime, them. Just a little test of character I like to throw into the mix on a first date. Feel free to pass on them, but just know you are being judged. Great to hear. <laughs> first question. What's the best way to measure flour for a Jesus Christ. Stainless steel measuring cups or a scale? Uh, shifted square with a knife, solid, yeah, that's good. Scale definitely how you're supposed to make 100 cookies, scooping one flour cup at a time. I use my hands, my cookies suck. <laughs> that one. Oh, good try, fuck. sugar. Cups will do in a pinch, but nothing beats a proper scale fuck, to fuck, start fuck, living fuck. your best cookie life. Question I number like two. To be precise to make sure what you have enough. the way to cuss someone out? Do you say, bless your heart, or you're as sharp as a throw pillow? I have to bless your heart. I've been grossly misinterpreting how my friends in Kentucky feel about me. Throw pillow. Burn! Holy smokes, could you tone down your voice again? You just said that in public. <laughs> Sorry, sugar. I got yeah, a little carried away there, What the fuck did you say that? All right. Last question, What the sugar? fuck would you ever say if that? If a gal in a huh? corset comes moseying up to you, uh -huh. what is the good and proper way to address her ample bosom, which she obviously puts so much effort into? I tell you, thank goodness for those eyes. Oh, well, sugar, that's just... Three stars. That's just or perfect. Three hearts. Beg your pardon, what were we talking about? I think I got a bit distracted there. It was my, uh, my phone. Oh, sugar, that's me. I've got to get back to the no, bakery yours. and get a cake in the oven. Unfortunately, it doesn't work just turning the heat up to cook them faster. <laughs> if only. Darling, the time just flew by. I had such a wonderful time. I'd sure love to get together again and do a little dinner and dancing. Are you busy next week? Uh, I believe I am. Yeah. Wonderful, sugar. I think I have anything scheduled for next week. Thanks for tomorrow. being a sweetheart. I'm yeah, looking no, we, forward we, we to can't, the can't We can't stand up Cassie's place. Don't be a strange now. After a while, you crocodile. You've got to go start dating. Let's go. 
Dark Fourth at night. Okay, we need to rank up a few of our. This is not a good combo, so we're gonna rank up motivation. Morning, uh, whatever. July fifth, the dawn of the day. We're gonna go for. Oh, I have not been doing jobs. We should probably be doing jobs. Uh, we'll do Suave. That gives me the most money. Okay, here we go. L. Hello, it's L. I wanted to let you know that I had a wonderful time with you on our little walk. I hope that you should you feel similar. It would be interesting in future walks. Just sit with one of the very flexible. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're having again soon. Take care. Okay. Event in town or an event in the arcade. We have a thousand dollars in the bank, baby. And so I said to her, that one isn't mine. Mine is much, much Whoa! Better. Dimitri. Better word phrase. Dimitri, we have a customer. Shush your crazy mouth. Yeah, man, you could use such Hola. better word phrasing. Aloha online. and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. I like your admiration for using that, and even though I came in here every single day. What can I get for you today? Dutch coffee again, please. Here you are. Have a great day. Buff level up. Let's go. Okay, we need to get Quill in here, which will probably be in town. The town is bustling today as you see a number of busy shoppers and tourists browsing the local shops. The atmosphere is fun and relaxed, and several people say hello as they pass you. You spend an hour looking in the shops without seeing much of anything that interests you. You suddenly, you hear a voice behind you. Freeze! Oh my god, Fumi! You turn around, there's someone putting a gun Officer at you. Officer Fumi, at PD. I saw what you did. Now get on the ground. The fuck did I do? The woman who's closest. I said, get on the ground! Just as your senses return, you're about to decide what to do. The officer moves past Look you. Look alive, citizen. There's a bad guy behind you. Shit, I thought you were pointing that shit at me. The people behind you see a delinquent getting on the ground. He appears to have dropped a Percy stole. You step away, small conforms around the officer. She can't cuff the delinquent, but you notice her gives you a backward glance before someone steps between you. You head back to your car and decide to spend the rest of your day somewhere else. Fumi? Fumi's in this game? Random text messages is random. I saw a panko today and it looked exactly- What the fuck? Please don't take that the wrong way. Pankos are- They are legit, but- I was going to take a picture, but a squirrel started chasing me and it was solving. <laughs> anyway, random, random, feel free to ignore the text. I'll bug you by hanging out against me and take care. We're going to the mall. We're going to the mall. We're going to the mall. We cannot stand up Cassie again. I'm so sorry, Allie. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing of it. Just suburb some mall. You're over the mall five minutes early, heading to the fountain where you agreed to meet Cassie with writing. 20 minutes later, she. 20 minutes? How dare she? the model on we're gonna make for revenge stopping in front of you holding her hand up to keep you from saying anything she stares for a moment then pops a gum bubble loudly and hums with curiosity hmm all right hold on don't say anything for a sec okay hmm so close yeah i didn't really get a good look at you before i gave you that little love tap on your face the good news is <gasps> let's go kind of cute Thank you. The bad news is that I'm not interested in pervs or voyeurs. Come on! Unless you got some magic to whip out and blow my hair back. I'm 99% sure we're already done here. I ain't done when we stretch that whip out. As if. Is your plan to convince me you're not a perv by acting <laughs> pervier? Good luck with that. No, so no, no, no. what exactly no. were you hoping to accomplish by bringing me up and bringing me here? You, you brought me here! Did give you a list of requirements you need to do before we take our relationship to the next level? You brought me here. I will bring up the... You because brought me here. you were hoping that my laying the smack on you was some kind of invitation to keep bothering me? I got bad news. Uh, it includes a bottle of mint number five. Mama didn't raise me rude, so here goes. Sorry. It's over five, is that what you like your grandmother? <laughs> so it's not stupidity or ego for yes, my mama. apology, but your mama? Yes, my mama. Never heard that one before. She's my mama. <laughs> I'll give you points for originality. She did not throw me under the bus. Damn. Throwing your mama under the bus just to talk to a girl? Mama didn't raise no That's bitch. Up. All right, all right. You keep giving me that goofy look like you want me to wave a magic wand and forgive you for peeking at my tush. I didn't mean to. Well, too bad. You saw the goods and now you gotta pay the piper. I uh, just got paid. I've got some cash uh, in time. Uh, give, me, give me three wishes. Oh, now see. 
That's all I'm looking for. Someone to show me a good time to help scrub away bad memories. That's what I'm saying. Here's the deal. Take me around the mall, show me a good time, buy me things, and tell me I'm pretty. The whole, yeah, the whole princess, princess treatment. treatment. It'll be like a date, but completely involuntary. I'm probably gonna embarrass you and make you do uncomfortable things. <sighs> Sound good, sweet cheeks? Bring it the fuck mm -hmm. on. You're What's with that face? Now? But we'll see how long that lasts. Let's start by returning to the scene of the crime. Maybe I'll make you take your clothes off in the change room so I can sneak a peek. Uh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Look at your face. It's all worried and bruised. I'm seeing 50% off it. up here, and that seemed awfully good right now. But it just so happens you interrupted me while I was trying on a very new, very pretty bra. Don't get your hopes up, though. You get to buy it for me, but the jury's still out on whether you'll see me in it. You are way too forgiving. Oh, good! Eli's working! Eli's I kept calling him Ellie. Don't be mean or weird. Eli! You sassy bitch! How are Jesus you? Christ. Cassie, my galloping goddess, welcome back. Aren't you? Back. You were, you were Kisses. like, you were like, all the way across town, right? Oh, I see you brought a cute friend. Is this your new sugar legal guardian? We're trying it out. Letting them blind me. Help me, help me, help me. Speaking of which, where's the boudoir for Zero's ogling for someone rudely interrupting It says well. I hid it under some skirts in the back. There's just one in your size, and I didn't want any normies to find it. One sec, I'll be a classy mofo and fetch it. Aww, Eli always makes me feel special. You should take notes. The world will You're be really a only better only place with more so Eli's. Happy, Eli's legit hooked me up with your number, actually. Honestly, one mind walking on and Eli changing if you catch my drift. Eli's legit. Yeah, let's get some bit. What about that? Aww, you feeling jealous? Don't worry. You treat me nice, and I'll be calling you a bitch in no time. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Want me to open up a change room for you? I'll even make sure it's locked this time. Just it was your fault. Someone gets any ideas. I, I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was your fault. No, no, I'm good. I know it fits. I'm just gonna ponder my options for a little bit. Peachy keen, Jelly Queen. Take your time. <laughs> I've got to go pick up and refold a bunch of blankets. I may have tossed them a bit too exuberantly. Be right back! Okay, see you. Hmm. All right, here's the deal. This is the first of my three wishes for you, my cute little genie. I wish to have this. How are you gonna For 15 that bucks? Happen? For 15 bucks? Mm, thank you, thank you. You're the sweetest fake sugar bowl I've ever had. Fake? Eli, get that rock hard tush back here and bring us through. Coming, my dear. <laughs> That's what he said! <sighs> Alright, that'll be $160. Cash, credit, or sexual favors. Wow, this island is horny as hell. I've got the perfect strapless dress to go with this. Here you are. And thank you for shopping at Cheek Boutique. Do come again! <laughs> Alright, it's time to move on to our next challenge. Are you ready? Real talk How's that bros your make wallet going to be? Uh, Aw, oh, you're sweet for someone who doesn't have any choice. Thanks. I... Uh, I'm a prisoner. Let's head over to the food court. I need nourishment or I get hangry. Yeah, As a reward for your fine service and taste in bras, I'll permit you to ask me one, one question. question. Make it a good one. I'd love to know I'm more about you. I'm mega you judging you on your question uh, I thought it was choice. called a hamster tattoo in here. <laughs> did have you... <laughs> um... Make it a good one. I'm mega judging you on your choice. Don't worry, how long have you lived here? Oh, yawn. Ah. Life story time, is it? Well, I did say you could ask me about anything. Yeah. Okay, here goes. I've lived in the area for a while. Moved away, came back, moved away, came back again. Man, you're indecisive as hell. The details are sad and boring. Never so mind. I'll spare you the sob story, but. I guess you could say. Ah, uh, I see. One of those girls never really made it. That never got out of the town I grew up in. Yeah. Uh, but okay. hey, maybe someday. Why does I'm feeling really I'm past that? I can't quite outrun. Why do you need deception for this? This is just truth for me. Eh. 
Maybe. Later. I'm liking where this is going, but let's not get too personal. I completely yet. agree. So, for our next challenge, I was thinking that we could. Hey, you guys got any money? I just need $2 to get a bus ticket. Just $2. Come on, don't be cheap on me. Delinquent? Don't you dare put your hands on me. The hell is your problem? Maybe you're hard of hearing. I just need $2. Don't. Come on, I'm hungry. I need a sandwich. I'm a growing boy. They said for a I bus ticket. I thought it was for a bus ticket. Get away from us, you jerk, before we kick your ass sideways. Oh, look at this spicy broad. Listen up, skank. I ain't... <laughs> Back up before I knock every damn tooth out of your mouth. Punch no, I don't... Whoa, whoa, no need to get twisted out of shape. I'm out. That's what I thought, bitch. Take a step forward in the kid books in the opposite direction. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you see the look on that guy's <laughs> face? He just about shat a brick. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, pervert or no, it's nice having a bodyguard around, I suppose. Maybe if you keep up the superhero gig, I might even give you special privileges. What kind of special privileges? Time. I actually need a jet. I had a good time, though. We should do this again. But maybe leave out the asshole teenager juiced out on hormones. Yeah. We cool? You wanna do this again? Yes, and yes, I'm always down for more extremely unusual dating. Yes, and I can reschedule. You promise to embarrass me. I'm not gonna let you break that promise. Uh -huh. Now that's what I like to hear. You're wrong, sucker. Next date, I'm gonna really put you to the test. And depending how well you do, I might make it worth your while. Oh, okay. I'm gonna head out. Thanks for being my slave for the day, perv. <laughs> we got a picture. Ciao. Went to lovey dovey one Easter egg pick found. Uh, Eli. Hey, long story short, you stood me up and I made it, made it to churlish. Worked out for the best. Some sugar jacks saw me sad and bought me things. It's a pretty good proper pair of style. Anyway, I still want to date you, so I'll hate you later this week. Uh, I don't know what that stands for, I'm not gonna lie. Casey. Better sit down, because I'm going to say something nice to you. I've had a great time at the mall with you. I might be clumsy as a <laughs> drunk car give you clean up good. Anyway, I look forward to the next day. Maybe I'll wear some extra cute if you're good. Anyway, gotta run. Let's do this. Don't ghost me, chow. Bonnabelle. Hey, sure, I just little to say I've got you on my mind. Hope your day was fantastic. Um, I wanted to look at something. Oh, yeah, images. Okay, uh, images, 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 images. That would be under contacts. And we need to look at Casey Gallery. Okay, we need to go the other way. This is all gonna be blurred for you. Yep, blurring that. Great, okay. Um, we need to, we still haven't found Quill. She's uh, one of the main five. Okay, we'll go to the town. I'm gonna see if I can get a date with Mio and then I'll end it. I was walking through town, you know, squeaky and streets remain busy. Certain streets filled with shops and co and ca coughs. And cafes slow down almost immediately when you run to the others. I mean, it's crowding, revealing the best nightclubs are. While traveling down one of the streets, you notice a pretty girl standing outside of a quiet restaurant with her sunglasses on. Oh! I think Quill has sunglasses, so I assume it's take a long time to look at her. <laughs> Never mind, who the fuck are you? She pushes her sunglasses up to the bridge of her nose, though you were already well. And truly as high as they could go, it seems like she's really interesting, I guess. This, of course, makes her much more conspicuous. Much more. Why are you wearing sunglasses tonight? Girls name sets towards you, see if I just somewhere... She starts to sing. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can... Oh, um, I mean, no reason. I mean, I got drops in my eyes and they're sensitive to light. Of course. Okay. So, nothing to see here. Which is also why I'm wearing the sunglasses. I love missing anything. Are you the girl that's on that billboard? You see the girl smirk a little bit. Cause I miss you, darling, and I don't wanna miss a thing. I can't be the only one that hates that song. Oh, uh, never mind. I just like that song. Oh, it's not too heavy, great name is. Oh, um, thank you. I could already tell you she's too. a celebrity that doesn't want to be you know, caught out in public, she wants to be normal. So I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend she's a celebrity. I'm not gonna like, or I'm not gonna, you know what I mean. You continue off the street, the girl watches you turn as you go, feel like it's on the whole way. A short while later, you hear her sandals scrape, scrape, scrape on the pavement as she tries to run and catch up with you. Um, excuse me, 
Excuse me. Yes, please stop for a second. Is, I need to ask you something. Is this girl in Lotus in the base game of Crush Crush and I just haven't gotten there yet? Because they could just be. Just don't... Just don't turn around for a sec. Okay. You know, like... Don't turn around, cause they'll see why you're breaking. Don't turn around... I will show she has a great singing voice. I need to ask you. Just now, when you were talking to me... Yeah? You didn't... I mean... I didn't look familiar to you? No. You don't recognize me? Should I? I mean, I wish I did. You're beautiful. Oh, you're sweet. I've not Thank seen you in my life. But I'm being serious. This is serious business. I get recognized a lot. It's actually very rare that someone doesn't know who I am. Really? Haven't you heard of Alpha? The Alpha Prelude? The Alpha Experience? Then there's my tenderized heart, sleepy kitten connection, my dumpster fire family. Uh, those are all funny words. Wow, you really don't know who I am. Yeah. That's so special. That's so fun. I get to meet someone who God, doesn't know God, this is a bit me. sad. I'm Alpha. My full name is The Alpha Prelude. I'm a singer. Is that your actual full name? Hey, listen. I got something mega weird to ask you. Is that okay? It's okay if it's not okay. Yeah, no, yeah, go okay. ahead. Okay, I'm going to watch your face super closely, though. If it starts frowning, I will instantly meet myself. Okay. I would like to ask you on a date. Because I've never had a date with someone who didn't know I was famous. Do you want to go on a date? And pretend I'm a normal girl who hasn't won Okay, we have no race? dates. Yeah, man, just ask me on a date. This is the best day ever. Yeah, crush date you. Oh my goodness, that was a flirt. You're flirting with me. Yep, that is indeed how flirting works. This is wonderful. I like Plus flirting. Plus one swabby. Let's fun. go. Give me your number, and I'll text you for a date when my calendar's free. I'm only in town for a couple weeks for a concert. It's my Alpha Cosmic World Tour. Ah. But I'll definitely have some time for the dating. Though we might have to keep a low profile to avoid getting mobbed. Yeah. I'll talk to you soon. I'm so excited for a normal date. I'm such a lucky girl. God, that is that is sad. That is so sad. The fact that she can't even have a normal date. Uh. Good night. Night. Alpha slips her cell phone back into her pocket and skips down the street. You're not entirely sure what just happened, but you have a feeling your social calendar is going to be fairly busy in the near future. Night time, baby. Let's go home. Uh, let's do a job. Let's get a bit of money. Um, actually, we need to level up luck because then we can get a lot of money. So I'm gonna level up luck a bit more. So I six the dawn. Okay, one more, one more uh, thing to luck, and then we're good for that. We literally got nothing. Oh God, he's back. Not him. Uh, hey there, McSteamy, just wanted to try dipping my hook one last time. I'm gonna go on a little date with a girl really with this Ellie. Uh, let me be clear, I'm not interested, period. Today at noon. Okay, I'll come back to you, Ellie, because I want to make sure no one... Hey, I just got a quick text about the vibe. It's about a time for all I will this week in case you want to... I'll message you when I'm back. Chance of that not happening. Anyway, I have a great week. Okay, so I wrote on to worry about. I'll respond back to him later. As you enter the entrainer guard, it's for Vix. Uh-huh. Uh, immediately leaped from the bushes. Hark! You have returned! How laid Lula! That is not the saying, man. Before we check to see how your quest bears, I shall read from the blog of their holy socks, as is tradition. <sighs> According to Sect 692047, the topic of masturbation should be avoided in conversation with your squire, uh, for it is a, a well touchy subject. Why is that? Alright then! Let's see how much hentai you've collected, and how much more may be hidden throughout the kingdom. Hmm? Very nice! It looks like you've collected around 15% of the hentai hidden in Sabrosia. Well done! Thank you. 15% is very respectable, but it means there's lots more to find. Return to your quest, and leave no space untouched. Got it. Farewell. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Okay, let's head over to the cafe. Walking by the Queen Bee, you catch a whiff of coffee that overwhelms your senses and compels you to purchase a cup. Poking your head inside, however, you can see a long queue of other customers in an enormous, simply unacceptable line. 
You turn to leave, but you notice Lotus behind the counter. She's apologizing to the customers. Apparently, she got the order wrong. She spots you, points to the cup, and mouths the words for you for free, then dashes off to make the right drink. You take the cup. Somehow, it tastes better than any other cup of coffee you've ever had. You leave with a thousand icy stares from the other customers. You must wait and pay. Glory is yours. Oh, uh, who must wait and pay? Glory is yours. Oh, Ellie took us back. Hey, love, your son speaks volumes. No worries, though. I'll see you around. Fuck, I didn't know that's what they meant. Hospital? For reasons you can't tell anything, you decide to walk by the hospital to see what you can see, you suppose. When you arrive, you know just how much... Like a hospital is generic, but not in a bad way. You suppose that if the hospital looked more like a nightclub or a water park, your personal sense of well-being would probably drop somewhat. This is a hospital, very professional looking, not all the sort of place you'd hang out, but it looks ready to serve your health needs. Stopping back to reality, you see a nurse approaching you. She has a bill apparently looking at the hospital has a charge association with it. Rather than getting your insurance involved, you decide to run away. She chases you for several blocks, but you outrun her. Good thing you're in such great shape. You continue with your day. Alert, this is Serena, your digital home personal assistant. This is an emergency situation, place your address. Oh! This current there isn't. Make sure you're drinking enough milk. You know what likes to drink milk? Cat! Uh, I just keep asking for the last question, so anyway, don't be bad. I don't think it's weak, or maybe not. Just, just don't be jerk. Stop bugging me. Okay, bye. I just want to know that I'm dressed in someone cute, but I'm not just over my stuff animals. Don't be bad. Okay, I just want to make sure I read that right. Hey, I don't have time to talk, but I was thinking about maybe we're actually staring at someone else. Uh, I was doing the bedroom, and I was doing it. Long story short, I was thinking about you. Awkward farting from a pimply 13 year old. I hope you're doing happy. So, thinking about you. Okay, so we literally have nothing. Besides the fact that we have to go home. You have your rental house, it starts getting dark, and the house is on a quiet street, and there don't appear to be any people walking about. Just as you reach your door, you're about to walk inside, you notice someone is lying down on your porch couch. Oh. Quill! Um, Whoa! Uh, don't mind me. Whoa. I was just noticing how nice your porch was. It's very nice. Where's your cat, friend? Hey, I have an idea. Maybe you should have someone sleep here tonight to make sure no one takes it. I can do that. Thank you for blurring it for me. On porches. Sure, but I guess I can interview, interview you first. Can't let any porches be around. This whole thing, I mean, as far as porches go, it's not bad, but I'd rather have a friend up, I'll be honest. Are you dressed as cat? Uh, we go. Oh my, I should have anticipated that. I'm afraid I don't have any documents prepared for an interview. Thank God you're not because moving. I'm a kitty. I wouldn't want to try to track. <clears throat> but I'll give it a try. I'm not afraid of anything. Except spiders and... Cucumbers. <laughs> so, what will it take to let me sleep Cucumbers. On the porch? I'm prepared to negotiate. Uh, the porch is on fire. What do you do? Let me ask you a question. What would you do if the porch is attacked by drop bears? What? What do you do if you encounter an obviously crazy person who sees a psychotic break of some kind? Uh, a psychotic break of some kind. I would probably do my best to ignore them. Oh my. You'll have to excuse me. I seem to have gotten rain in my eyes. Uh huh. <laughs> that question was really challenging. Maybe I should have an eight-hour nap on your porch before we continue. Uh, next thing... I'm busy with my porch because I can't trust you. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, oh my, yes! I love Tuna marry so Tuna. much! I would marry Tuna, were it not for societal complications and the present danger of eating my spouse. <laughs> you should reconsider the milk, though. Kitties are mostly lactose intolerant. Well, well okay, maybe just... I'm not, they're lactose sausage. intolerant. Uh, to all, to normal milk, not to their mother's milk. So do you that should probably be known. I can stay here tonight. I promise not to knock your stuff off the counter, or at least, not on purpose. Just put some underwear I on. I can't believe I did so well in my very hey, first interview. Yay for me! Good job, Quill. Pat, pat, pat. I am so glad I picked your porch to try and sneak onto, even if it's not a veranda. It's now my favorite place in the world. Oh, that's just that's just damn adorable. So. Where's the best place for me to sleep tonight? I'm sure, my bed is big enough for the two of us. I got a super comfy bed in here. I'll crash on the couch if you got lots of room. Frankly, I'm not sure where I'm sleeping. Uh, yeah. That one. Oh my! You're so generous! I wish I had a fish head or something to give you. To show you my gratitude. Put on underwear. Thank you! Thank you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm already asleep. <sighs> Yay! Inside! I'm definitely an inside kitty. Just we are not inside. I don't know what you're talking about. With outside. As Quill joins you by your side, you fumble with the keys for a few moments before opening the door. Loading. What? 
What in the front door open? It takes school a few moments, standing in the door before she finally comes. Oh, this is a date. Looking around at the walls. The music. <laughs> she moves just inside far enough to allow you to close the door. Standing there with her arms crossed, shivering, she looks at you with a blank stare for a few moments before she finally speaks up again. Thank you again for letting me in your house. It is a nice house. I especially like the fact that it has a roof that appears to be rainproof. Appears to be, yeah. That's a very special kind of magic, to be rainproof. Yeah. But speaking of your house, I am sorry that I appear to be watering it. <laughs> I didn't mean to invite the water in. It's just sneaky rain that stuck to my fur. I can Ooh, see that, yeah. sneaky rain. It's all over These puddles are evidence of your deviousness. Don't even try to deny it. Until it dries and sweat. Unless some of that water is sweat, then uh, this sounds wet. Oh, I doubt it. Kitties only sweat through their paws. If you let me touch you, you'll see that I'm very dry. Uh huh. Women's to wander through the house. Cap, yeah, but I can't speak words. Looking to various rooms, when she reaches the bathroom, she nods approvingly. Okay, this looks good. If you don't mind. I'm going to find a basket of clean linens to lie in and lick myself clean. Um... I will also accept any crawl spaces beneath your stairs, or on top of any major electronics you may have. If clean linen isn't available, it uh, should only take a few hours. You won't even know I'm here, save for the repetitive lickety-lick sound I'll be making. Everyone in this house, no tongue baths. We're going to come up with a different plan. Are you sure you want to lick yourself clean? I can imagine that would be entirely pleasant. It is a somewhat distressing process when you're this cold and wet and matted. Well, every so often, a kitty can be given a real bath in a real bathtub. If you make sure not to use any harsh soaps or conditioners. Soaps and conditioners are rare in the wild, so most kitties don't use them at all. I'm usually not super happy about baths, but I'll make an exception this time, so I can stop tracking mud and water all over your house. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Do you mind assisting me in the bathtubbing? Uh, okay, I guess I'll grab a house count some slippers. Slippers! Yes, thank you. <laughs> I would love something to chew on afterwards. Not what I meant. You lead Quill over to the large... God, I beg you. Please let it be censored already. She watches the water intently as it begins to fill. Suspicion, uh, and grudging respect to feel expression not sure what to make of it. You know, there are many okay. legends when it comes to the great thing between <laughs> water and This is such a fucking funny kids. image. Some say that water was the reason that kitties were no longer worshipped as gods. That water was jealous and stupid and chased the kitties from their kingdoms. No, water and kitty, in, in, kitties. Water and cats used to be held to like the same praise. Like, especially in ancient Egypt. Like, think of the Nile. They praised that shit. And they praised cats. So, I, I, you both were on like the same level. Others believe that water is made from the spirit of an evil <laughs> dog. No! Trying to capture kitties. Always being a bad boy. Bad boy. I mostly just hate getting my fur wet. It takes forever to lick myself back to normal. That's what towels are for. She stares at the water until the tub is full and the water has become completely still. And then she finally nods and stands. She moves her clothes and delicately folds them into a pile. Then she kneels for a moment next to the bathtub again, suspiciously pulling at it for a moment. You don't quite get a solid look at her tail before she kneels down, so you're still not entirely sure what's going on there, but in every... Otherwise, she seems to be a young, beautiful okay, girl. Okay, I'm ready. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Notice that she seems utterly unruffled being naked in your presence. It's definitely not to stare at her naked body. You feel like you need to make a choice. Help bathe her, just see where things go. Help bathe her, but try not to lick as much distance as possible. She clearly doesn't see anything wrong with it, and I think just keeping up her innocence would be the best course of action. You watch her delicately put a foot in the water before her firm vomits. <laughs> And other things slide gracefully into the suds. Hmm, that's kind of nice, actually. My skin is burning. No, oh! No, don't turn on the cold water! I just didn't notice how cold, red, and miserable I was. I guess I'm usually too happy of a kitty to let that stuff get me down. Uh -huh. So, I noticed that you smell really good, and your house smells good, but they don't smell the same. So is this your house? Did you steal it? No, I'm just borrowing it, I guess. Yeah, I chased away the owner and took all the catfish. Oh, wow. You must be very ferocious. I'm very ferocious. I'm sorry, you guys really actually can't see anything. Because there's something under the text box, which I wish I could keep unblurred. Actually, maybe I may- Okay, I may be- I may be able to salvage this. Maybe. If someone threatened to take right my fish, will be blurred, and I right here will be blurred. and kick up as much fuss as possible. But I'm not a very good fighting kitty. 
It would be a sad day for me. Yeah. She takes your hand and insistently puts a washcloth on it, and then she guides you to her back, nodding approvingly. Have you ever noticed that it's impossible to scratch your ear and have it feel as amazing as when someone else does that? I think that's a sign we should be nicer to each other. That's a really weird and good metaphor. <laughs> I like thinking about that stuff when I'm having well, not a metaphor, third but a figure fourth speech. nap of the day. What about you? What kind of stuff you do you like to think things. about? I'm trying to figure out if you're usually an indoor and outdoor kitty, and I have some concerns about litter boxes. Scratch her ear. Oh, that is a mystery, isn't it? Yes, why are we on my why, porch? Why, it would be almost impossible to know something like that. Unless I told it to you. Yeah, precisely. Yep, a real puzzler. I don't even know how you would figure it out. Maybe it would be best to just forget about the whole deal and talk about other stuff. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> she seems to react, uh, notice that you react a little differently watching her and she gives you a blank accusatory stare. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I making you jealous? No, 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 no. You're feeling left out. Yeah, uh, I was just thinking, yeah, this one. Hmm, that's the first time I've ever heard someone say that the rain was lucky. <laughs> You're a strange kitty, but I like your sassy attitude. I'm starting to feel a lot better. I was feeling pretty low before you got here, and there's still a bunch of stuff that I'm really, really worried about. Uh, is there any way I can help you if you tell me what's wrong? I can do my best to make it better. Oh, you're very kind. I... I don't really know what to say. Uh, you just... You don't need... You actually, you don't need to say anything. I think then maybe I need to have a nap. And make some big decisions before I can choose a choice like that. After a few more moments of bathing, closing up happy and content, you pull out the plug and help her into a towel, which she soon becomes eight or nine or more, so... So she can dry properly. As she's doing that, you throw, you throw her clothes into the wash and find her seated on the couch in the living room when you come back upstairs. I really wasn't expecting to find someone so nice. There are lots of not nice people in this town, which can make it a scary place sometimes. Yeah, I've noticed. If I a lot of pervy people. I would definitely stay in this house all of the time. And definitely stay away from the street alleys downtown late at night. They're especially dangerous for kitties and other living creatures. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I can tell that you have more stuff on your mind. And even though I'm getting a little sleepy, I don't mind answering a couple more questions. Uh, I don't really try kitty. Are you, do you like it when I... No? Do you mind if I ask you something really weird, really different from the other kitties? Uh, I've seen... Have you always been a kitty? I think I mentioned that I'm tall for my age, which seems to confuse people. And other kitties. <sighs> oh, excuse me. That yawn wanted out really bad. And it left the front door open. Thank you for letting me sleep here. Normally I'm nocturnal and would just start running kitty errands now. But I'm sleeping. Kitty errands? Where can I sleep? I'm thinking the floor is looking especially available. Uh, I'm gonna take my bed tonight. I'll sleep here. Figure... Do you want to... Okay. Um... Oof. I don't know which one of these she would prefer. You know what? Go big or go home. That sounds like a nice idea. I love sleeping at the foot of a bed, on a foot, with my foot hanging off. It's a very particular combination that I'm if, I, That is very particular. I can see that, yes. Thank you again for your kindness. I'm not sure if no you problem. know, but being kind to kitties is the best way to earn good luck. If I see any good luck lying around, I'll make sure to pounce on it for you. Thank you. Good night. Sleep tight. Uh, good night, Quill. Have a good long nap. <laughs> With the lights out, you lie back when the house is still. You can hear the shrink cat girl snoring. You spend a long time thinking about what you would have done in more normal circumstances. A person who thinks she's a cat is likely a reason to be concerned, but another part of you believes she is one of the five girls you're supposed to save? You decide for now to let her stay. If you can discover whatever she might be in danger, or maybe you can confirm that she's. You're not imagining all this. You fall asleep, wondering if there will ever be a cat girl there tomorrow. That one went well. Okay, we're what we're gonna do. The cat girl queen is still there when you wake up, resting peacefully at the foot of your bed. Okay, we're gonna run a job. Uh, we're gonna run the lucky job because that's actually fucking phenomenal. Seven hundred seventy-seven bucks. And last things last. Oh, there's Alpha. 
We're gonna look at Quill. We're gonna look at the picture we got. Man, we already got most of her pictures. I'm sorry, what the fuck? That one doesn't have to be blurred, so you guys can see that. So from what I'm noticing, we're missing like a solid two girls. Here's the picture. It's gonna be blurred for you. At least parts of it will be blurred. But I think that's a good place to leave it off for now. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!